Uh, it sounds like another powerful storm is moving our way. Another one's coming our way. A focus will be a little different for this one. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. And right now we go to Paco Ridge Golf Club where they've had some snow showers in and out throughout the day today. You can see things just hanging around, kind of gray across the East Mountains. A little bit of snow here and there. Not a whole lot from this particular storm for the East Mountains. It got a little bit, much more to the north. Northern mountains along the east slopes around the Moreno Valley, over a foot of snow from this storm. And now we're starting to see a little bit of a break here, but we do have a few showers lingering in central sections. That'll be a possibility for us throughout the rest of tonight. A brief shower or two in the form of rain or snow. And then out this goes, and we get ready for the next storm. And we won't have much time to wait before it gets here. 20s and 30s for us off to the north. 40s here in central sections and down to the south. Temperatures in the 40s and some low 50s. Satellite and radar showing that the cloud cover is still hanging over us for tonight, but the air mass over us is cold enough to lead to a pretty cold overnight temperature profile across the state. And then tomorrow we'll get a little break from these clouds as we get, I can't even really call it an area of high pressure, but a little break from the storms anyway. And then we get our next storm in here. So let's start with that next storm. It's off the northwest coast, or coast for that matter. We'll find the A and put it back in there at some point. Wednesday through Thursday is what we're looking at timing-wise. Mountain snows look like a good bet, especially across the south. A mix in south and central sections of the state, and snow showers will be possible across the north. Bus potential on this is fairly low, just 25%, given that the storm track looks pretty good for us, and the storm strength looks pretty good as well. So I think it's going to have a chance to be a bit of a mess out there. So the storm exits for tonight, the one we're dealing with. Tomorrow looks okay as far as partly cloudy skies go and fairly cool temperatures. And then we get into that next system coming in across probably southern portions of the state. It's looking more and more like this thing will kick across the south throughout the day on Wednesday and into Thursday, spreading the possibility of heavy mountain snows here as well. So throughout the night tonight, you can see scattered snow showers continue and then they die off. And as we get into the day tomorrow, we just start to clear things out during the mid-afternoon hours and then watch what happens. Here come the clouds again early Wednesday and we start to develop more showers out there in the form of rain and snow starting west and then eventually heading east throughout the day. So Wednesday looks pretty rough and Thursday could be rough as well. Travel, especially I-40 southward, could be a real problem here. But this thing could be strong enough to cause problems really statewide for us and that's what we're going to be watching here. So across the Northwest Plateau, temperatures for the most part in the 30s and 40s for tomorrow. Some increasing clouds late in the day in your seven-day forecast shows Wednesday and Thursday. Snow showers Durango and Farmington, but the focus goes farther south. Across the south and west, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. And then over to the southeast, we have partly cloudy skies here as well. This is going to be an area that could be hit pretty hard once the storm comes rolling on in here as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Places like Roswell could well see a mix out of this deal on those two days. Across the north and east after a pretty good snowstorm again over the weekend. Things calming down for tomorrow with partly sunny skies. And over the northern mountains for tomorrow, temperatures for the most part going to be in the 30s and 40s, some 20s out there as well. Snow showers will continue on and off throughout tonight, but then things will start to back off throughout the day tomorrow. But then you can see more snow showers will be possible Wednesday into Thursday. East Mountains are going to be interesting. Right on that edge could be a bit of a mess by Wednesday and Thursday as well. But for tomorrow, partly sunny and cool with temperatures for the most part in the high 30s. And then here in the metro area, temperatures are going to top out tomorrow in the low to mid 40s, partly cloudy and cool conditions. And here's your seven-day forecast, Albuquerque. We're going to get our shot as well at that mix to maybe some snow into Thursday morning temperatures in the low 40s. All right. Thank you, Mark. Well,